Good morning, good morning from Chicago. I'm Alan Nuckman with Trading Advantage with your morning market stir for Friday, September 20th. All quiet on the market front after the big surge that we saw on Wednesday. And actually, we've seen a 6% run in the S&P since the August lows. The E-mini S&P finished down a quarter point, fought back to unchanged yesterday, 17.17, after making some new relative highs at 17.26 and a quarter, actually new all-time highs in that E-mini S&P. So the markets finished mixed yesterday. We had the Dow down 21, 15,573. The Nasdaq was positive, on the other hand, up 10 and a half points at 32.32 and a quarter. 32.37 and three quarters was the high in the Nasdaq yesterday that should act as resistance here. Dollar index continue to drift lower, down 11 ticks, 8048. 8100 is the breakout, and now the resistance up above to keep an eye on to see if we can stay below there and push down to that 80 level, which we've that was last seen in the dollar in February. The euro was uh, up up another 21 ticks at 135.30. 134 again is that breakout support in the euro. 136 is the resistance. It gets through 136. 140 is the next technical target. Bonds were off 23, 131.07. Crude oil got hit a little bit yesterday, down $1.42. 105 is the weekly support that we're going to focus on. Yesterday we closed at 105.86, so we're getting close to that threshold on a weekly basis. That was the breakout area before the Syria tensions uh, flared up. And gold yesterday continued its upward move, closed at 13.69. High yesterday was 13.75. The Relative highs here over the last couple months are at 1434 up above, so that is the next area of resistance to focus on on the upside on gold. So after the quiet action yesterday, where do the markets stand on this Friday morning to end what should be a record week in the markets? Well, right now we're steady. We're down a half a point in the e mini S&P down at 1717. We're unchanged in the Dow futures, 15,573, up another two and a half points in the NASDAQ at 3235. The dollar index right now is essentially unchanged, down one at 8047. That pushes the euro currency up, up 17 at 135.47. And the bond market as it stands right now is up six ticks at 131.12. To focus on the yields, the yields on the 30-year treasury around 3.79%. And on the 10-year on the note, we're sitting here at 2.73%. So significantly below that 3% threshold that people were worried about a couple weeks ago. Looking at crude, crude's unchanged, 105.90. Keep an eye on 105 on a weekly closing basis as a support point here. And gold is down 11 after the big surge yesterday at 13.58. So to wrap up the current action, two hours to go before the cash stock market open. We're all quiet here, unchanged, down a half in the E-mini S&P at 17.17. The next level of support down below is 17.03 and three quarters, which was the breakout. That was actually Monday's high that we took out with that huge surge on Wednesday. Right now, we're unchanged in the... Uh, in the Dow futures right now, 15,573 in the Dow and up two and a half in the NASDAQ at 3,235. I will see you early Monday morning for the morning market stir to wrap up your, to start your trading day. Alan Nuckman from Trading Advantage here at the CME Group where it all comes back to commodities.